Fabulous 145. Welcome to another episode of Teaching Technology. So, it in preparation for the release of my first single, Hiding Memories, I am doing this episode to show you guys how to how to use hashtags on the dif- the various social media platforms that allow hashtag usage. Uh, just just in case this is something you guys might need if you're wanting to use the hashtag when you're listening to my 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 song on Saturday. So uh, first off, uh, we're gonna s- some of you and because the target audience of this series might not know exactly what a hashtag is. So a hashtag is a word or phrase preceded by a hashtag sign. Some of you older individuals might know this as the pound sign. It's used on social media websites and applications like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok. To identify digital content on a specific topic, so uh, for example, um, yeah, I did a video where I cr- recreated a Burger King breakfast item and I, u- I used the hashtag BK breakfast. And so yeah, that's just an example there. And now I'm going to get into showing you how to add it It, for you visual folks. So uh, here goes. (laughs) Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up whatever social media app that you're wanting to put the hashtag in. In my case, I'm going to use Instagram because on Instagram, there's two different ways that you can use hashtags. This first way is through stories. So, you're just, I'm gonna press this blue plus sign that's next to my profile picture on the top left here. I'm gonna go to create. Now, there are other options, but this is how I'm gonna do it because I'm also promoting my song. So, I'm gonna select my countdown, put that there, and then I'm gonna go to the little square that has a smiley face on it. And then you will, I'll select the hashtag option on the right here. And I'm going to put hiding memories for the hashtag here. And then I'm also going to put, there's, this is the second way to do it in stories. So the I just showed you the first way where you can go and select the sticker, but say you want to use multiple hashtags, you can just type it in as well. That it, this is the I guess there's technically three ways. So this is the second way in the stories portion of Instagram, and I'm just gonna go with hashtag streaming soon. And then if you want to do a color behind it, you tap the A with the little sparkles pictures on it. And then you choose your color. I'm going to do pink. And there we go. And then you, I'll just press send to that's on the bottom, bottom right. And press the blue share button next to my picture. And done. There we go. And the next option, yeah, I'm actually not going to do a post here, but I am going to show you where to go. So you'll press the square with the plus sign in it. It's on the top right. And then you'll pick the picture or whatever that you want to put in this little square here down below. You'll press the blue next button twice. And then where it says write caption, That's where you can put your hashtags. So you'll start with the hashtag sign that you're seeing here. And then 
then you type your words after that, no spaces, and that's it. So I just did, the, I showed Instagram as an example. The, you can pretty much do the same thing on Facebook. However, they're obvious you, where it, instead of clicking the plus sign to do the post, you, you'll just tap where it says what's on your mind and then you'll be able to type. And how you type a hashtag is the same on all the social media platforms. You just do the number, hashtag, pound sign, whatever, however you know that sign, it, you'll, you'll type the, you'll type that and then you'll type your words that describe the post. Yeah, I use, um, I think it's called camel case hashtags to make my post more accessible, but I mean, you don't have to do that. That's just the thing I do because it, either way you do it, it's still a hashtag. The only thing with about the face, you can't do hashtags and stories on Facebook. I, I tried it before I did this video. And for Twitter, it, if you're one of those that use Twitter, the plus sign to add a post also ha is in a circle and it's on the bottom right. So um, that's, I, that's pretty much, yeah, that's all you need to know. And now uh, we're gonna. My turn. Announce the new CD. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let me turn the sound off on here. So yeah, for TikTok. Yeah, when you go to TikTok to do a post a thing, there there's a square with a plus sign. It it's like bottom center. Yeah, you'll press that. You'll pick your photo. You'll pick your photo where it says upload uh, on the right, and then there's two sides. One says videos. One says image. So, and you choose. You'll pick your video or your image that you want to post, just like you would scrolling through your when you're picking a photo to photo to delete when you're going through your camera roll on maybe your iPhone or yeah I don't think there's that much difference in how you select photos and all the different smartphones that exist honestly but yeah that's pretty simple but I'm gonna just show it real quick just so that I make sure I have all my bases covered. Okay, so I'm now gonna show you how to do hashtags on TikTok, just like I showed you. So the first thing you're gonna do is open TikTok, just like I've done here. And the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press the plus sign that I was just talking about that's right in the center on the bottom. And then you're gonna go to the upload square and. It, you can post videos too, but I'm gonna go over here to images and I'll tap that. And once you've tapped it, you'll see, you should, if it's your first picture that you've selected, you should see a red circle with a number one in it. Then you're gonna press the red next button. And I'm gonna go to sounds first uh, because just a random, and I'm going to select Sam Hunt House Party. It, this, this clip is going to be muted, so you're not going to hear that. Because copyright. Um, and then we're going to, once again, we're going to press the red next button. And then right here where it says describe your video, you'll do the hashtag sign. And then... I'm going to do streaming soon, but it, since I've already used that hashtag, you probably saw there's a list down here when I was typing of my frequently used hashtags, so I just tapped that. And I'm also going to do hashtag hiding memory. 
Okay, I really can't spell today, so ap apologies. But that's how you do it. And then once you get to par the part where you're ready to post, you'll press the red post button that is down at the bottom right. And that's it. For this episode of Teaching Technology, I, I hope you learned something. I anyways, if you liked this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want, you can check out my links down in the description below. The first of which is for my affiliate with So Sick Clothing. There's a promo code through them that will get you 15% off site-wide. That promo code is... Oh, Grace 15. And the, the second link is for my merch store. And the rest of my links are for my website, my social media, and my podcast, L Grace After Hours. New episodes of that every Tuesday. Uh, that, that's available on Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, pretty much any podcast platform you can think of. And also happening on Spotify this Saturday, my, my first single, Hiding Memories, is being released. And it's also going to be available on Apple Music and YouTube Music. So look forward to that. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And above all else, stay fabulous. Bye!